So a few weeks ago, I made this video where I'm interviewing Yoda. And of course, Yoda is just an image where I cut out a little bit around his mouth and then that projected myself behind that to where only my mouth would show, as you, you can see here. And it's a very old school uh, kind of masking, but people were asking, you know, how I did that. And of course, it's not about making a really realistic virtual reality kind of thing where the lips actually match up with the animation. If I wanted to do something like that, I could just use some uh, filter like this. The point isn't really that you have to have the lips match, but you know, as you can see here, for example, using this, the mouth is matching more or less uh, the talking, so this looks great. I can do gestures and so on, or I could have a character like this, or hey, everybody, this is Gar Reynolds. I want to talk about presentation zen or maybe something a little bit more uh solemn hey everybody how's it going still i can look surprised i can look at the camera and my lips sort of more or less match uh, but of course you have to be careful with things like bears that come get out there get out of here God! anyway the point is not to that we have to use filters like this to have the lips match exactly so that's not the point of this uh, yoda thing so anyway let's go back and turn these filters off i got this idea for doing this sort of you know hacky mask idea um, from something we were doing 25 years ago so i used to watch conan o'brien and he would do this thing where he would talk to president clinton of course he wasn't actually talking to the president he was talking to an image of the president with his the mouth part was sort of um was transparent and so you could see the comedians uh, some other comedian behind him imitating the president so because it's not realistic it's that's you know that lends itself to comedy so this was the original image for example and then if i lined up like i get a little bit closer so uh yeah see and now it kind of looks like mm -hmm, yeah yeah I, I tell you what i cannot lie mm -mm, cannot lie mm -mm, mm -mm. well the question is why why would you want to use an alpha channel why would you want to take part of your image and then you know cut holes in it or make parts of it transparent so one example is doing something like this so inside this uh television screen for example i was doing a presentation about some communication in the 1960s and so I'm sort of inside the TV for part of it. I can even um, reduce the opacity of the video and then we get this sort of pattern behind. If you're familiar with mm -hmm, you know that there's a room. I look at the room as sort of the stage, the floor, the bottom layer. So in this case, the room is just some uh, video images. And then my video here is in the middle and the image sits on top. And in this case, the image has transparency around the screen area. And it's a gradual transparency. As you can see, I left sort of like the frosty or it could be kind of reflection effect uh, on the glass. And so it gives the illusion that that's actually glass, you know. Let me out, let me out. This way it works. And this way, you know, I can move my hands wherever. I fit perfectly within this because of course it's just a mask, right? Where in this case, if I use the silhouette effect, the illusion is not really there because I can't really fit perfectly. So something like this, right, I can fit perfectly inside. Whereas this way, you know, the illusion isn't really there because you, of course you can see that it, it's just a silhouette above the TV. Whereas in this case, I'm actually inside of it, right? See, I couldn't do that otherwise. So if you go to software like uh, Keynote, you'll see under image, you'll see there's a edit mask, which is where you can add some transparency to the, the slide that you have, or instant alpha, where you can take parts of the image, no matter what its shape, so long as it's a pretty much a solid color, you can drag that and get transparency on that part of it. So here's what I mean. So this is inside Keynote. And if I want to just remove that television screen, since it's all white, it's very easy to do. I just drag it a little bit with the instant alpha tool and then voila, right? It's all transparent now. So if I go to the slide, you'll see everything is, is opaque except that part which I selected with the instant alpha, which used to be white and now it's transparent. So I'm behind that. Does that make sense? It's just like taking scissors when we were kids and, and cutting out little holes or different parts that we want to be seen. Anything that is underneath it, of course, is going to be seen. So with the Yoda thing, oh, kind of got to line it up here. So it's something like this, right? Mm -mm -mm. You are not a Jedi yet. <laughs> Did Yoda have teeth? I don't know. I never... Uh. Anyway, so how do you do something like that? If I remove the effects, by the way, you get more of the... Uh, uh. Mm, weird. Weird it looks. Yeah, the effect is gone there. So anyway, you could use GIMP for this. I used uh, Photoshop. So you just go in and you select 
around the mouth and then you can just uh, delete that area and you'll see the checkerboard behind represents transparency but it's kind of a abrupt right since there's no feather on it so what you can do depending on the software that you use but in the case of Photoshop you just go in there under the selection and then uh, add some feather or you could do smooth effect there's different ways you could do this but I add say 22 points of feather featherness and uh, and then you can kind of see it. there there you go we can see uh, through the other side so there's some gradual transparency so it's not really abrupt but the other thing I like to do is add a layer just for getting a good visual on it so if you see I add a orange layer behind it the lips are actually not 100% uh, transparent right over the where the mouth closes on Yoda so I could go in with the eraser tool and uh, with a soft eraser tool and just just a little bit touch it up and get a little bit more transparency over the mouth so that works really well and then I can remove that mask when I save it and of course it's very important or remove the channel I mean uh, so that you'll have just transparency so the alpha channel will be there you have transparency right there it's important that you save it as a PNG file so this is the PNG file inside mm -hmm, sitting over mm, over over it is sitting there over mm -hmm. so for example uh, in this part we have the the chalkboard and then I can remove uh, the chalkboard to make that part transparent and then you could put yourself or whatever put the video behind I don't know why you do that but you could do that uh, in this case this is not actually the uh, using an alpha channel. I'm just using the silhouette feature, and I am sitting on top of this slide this time. So, or the video. The, the video is the slide. Let's say I was talking about uh, Piccadilly Circus. This is not a, using an alpha channel here, but in this one. So let's say I wanted to talk about when the first illuminated signs began to appear at, at Piccadilly Circus, and then I could you know, be inside it here. So that was just an image cut out. That part of the image was cut out to be 100% transparent so that I can be inside of it. No matter how I move myself around, I'm behind the image. Same in this case. Let's say I'm talking about, I don't know, iPhone addiction or something like that. But I am inside, <laughs> inside the phone. No matter where I go, I can't get out of it. And all that is is a picture. It's a, a PNG photo sitting above. I'm here in the middle. And then there is a, a, a room if I turn off my video, you'll see what's behind me, which is the, or under me, I guess you could say, which is the room. Let's look at some more examples of just slides I've used in the past. I tend to like these TV screens <laughs> recently. This is an old photograph from my parents in the 50s before I was born. But the same thing, I leave a little frosty uh, around the edges. And actually I had John Lennon inside this, which uh, went with the, uh, the quotation. Here's an example of one that's super easy, right? You can imagine, even inside Kino, you just can select for whatever color you want to be transparent using the instant alpha. So that, that's very simple to do in, in this case. Or you might have something like this. So this was the original image. That's the room. And then I put the same image on top, except I cut out the parts behind the mountain. So when I, my video comes in, we get you know this kind of effect. How might you use this? I don't know. But these are some kind of things you, you could do. Uh, or you could imagine an, an architect or, I don't know, city planner or something doing something like this where you just cut out the sky so you're talking about the new project i don't know around fujisan in this case but all i did is cut out so this is a png file and the sky and some of the background uh, was cut out uh, here is um, uh, an image this is a slide just made in keynote but it could have been made in powerpoint as well the advantages to making your slides in PowerPoint or Keynote and then exporting them to use in mm -hmm, is that they're 16 by 9. So you'll know that they're the, the right size, even if you're going to use an alpha channel on them and cut out some of it. So let's say I'm talking about uh, Tokyo and the uh, UFO sightings in Tokyo, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking about that. And then I can go to this kind of slide with um, actual visual proof of UFOs in Tokyo as you can see. This is another way I like to use them. Same, same slide, so inside Keynote, you can use the Edit Mask feature just to remove parts of the image. You can't, you know, really fine tune it. You can't get a gradient. You can't do circles and things like that, but you can cut out some of it like I did here. So that's the original image, and this is what it looks like.
now, right? You can also do a gradient. So this is what you would have to go into GIMP or Photoshop or some kind of uh, software like that to just gradually, so you get this gradual. But this image is just above me. If I turn it off, you know, you can, oh, you can still see kind of the room behind me, which I'm not using. Uh, there's the image right there, and there's the image at full screen. And this is a effect I like to do. So there's the image on, uh, is that my left or my right? Your left. On the screen, it's on the left side of me. And then I can have some text go off the photo and a little bit onto the video portion as well. And so that's a really a nice effect, and it gives you more room for the text as well, but still leaves yourself uh, inside the frame. And this is, you know, what it came from. And this is how I did it inside Keynote. You just go to Edit Mask. You get to slide the way you like it, and then you're always imagining where you're going to be. You're going to be on that uh, right third. So something like, like that would work. You That background is, looks black, but it's actually going to be saved as a transparent. So you have to make sure you choose no color, which will be black. But in this case, it represents transparency. And then when you put it into mm-hmm, you get this effect. So that works out pretty well. This one here, again, 100% transparency around the top screen here. And then I just, with a little airbrush eraser, I just took out uh, not 100% transparency, but just a little bit of transparency over different parts of the image to simulate uh, sort of the, the, the flickering of lights, even though this is just a photograph. This is not a video. Behind me is a video. If I turn the slides off, you see this is what it looks like. This is one of the videos that comes with mm hmm but you could use any kind of video that you have in mind. And when I put the image at full screen, it goes like this. And it, without using a video, it gives the kind of the feeling of being there. Another thing I like to do, and this is what I use often, I make the slides in Keynote or PowerPoint. I have no background on the slide, and then you can just save it as a PNG file like this. So this actually is not behind me, but it's in, it's, uh, I'm behind, it's in front of me, I'm behind the image. So. In Keynote, it looked like this, but it could have been any background color. Remove the background color, and voila, here we are. All right, something like this. This kind of image would be very easy to remove the screen for some reason, if you want to do that, and then you could put yourself in it like that. If you have any questions about PNG files, alpha channel, masks, you know, how you do that in Keynote, or how you can use that kind of thing with mm -hmm. any questions at all, any comments, don't hesitate to write that down below. All right. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Something like this. This is sort of like, you know, mm, so certain on you. So basically that's what it is using what's called alpha channel. Or... Mm, Yoda. Mm. I am the real, well, the real Yoda I am. Mm.